Hey guys, welcome to the Max Invest YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to discuss a couple of really bullish metrics for Ethereum and discuss why I do believe that Ethereum is going to go very well in both the short term and the long term. Of course, if you enjoy the video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And remember, nothing in this video is financial advice and you should always do your own research. So, as we can see, Ethereum has been holding up pretty well. It's hanging around the $3,200 mark, and it's just hanging around there trading sideways for now, which is good to see, and it's good to see it consolidating at these high levels. Now, there are a couple of Ethereum metrics that I do want to discuss. The first big thing that has happened is, of course, we all know that EIP-1559 was implemented on the 6th of August. And we do know that EIP-1559 means that every single transaction made with Ethereum has the base fee being burned. As we can see, so far, $155 million worth of Ethereum has been burned, which is huge, and that is a lot of money. Of course, we do know when all of this new supply gets burned and not issued, this means Ethereum is a little bit more scarce and it gives it a little bit more value for the token holders. As we can see, the amount of Ethereum being burned every single day is roughly 5,000 Ethereum per day, which is a considerable amount. Of course, when transaction fees go up and there's a lot more network activity, more Ethereum will be burned as there are more transactions to burn ETH, and when these transactions go down and there's a little bit less network activity, less Ethereum will be burned. The protocol that is burning the most Ethereum is Uniswap. Of course, a lot of you probably know what Uniswap is. Uniswap is a decentralized exchange where individuals can buy and sell cryptocurrency on. And Uniswap has become the first ever decentralized finance protocol to generate $1 billion in fees. So people have used Uniswap tons and tons and they've paid enough in fees that it's generated $1 billion. Now, this $1 billion worth of fees goes back to the people who provide liquidity for Uniswap. So, the people who are lending their cryptocurrencies like Ethereum or Chainlink to Uniswap will get the trading fees back off the people who buy and sell their cryptocurrency on Uniswap. It's a very simple business model, and currently Uniswap is the biggest decentralized finance protocol built on Ethereum by market cap. However, I do expect a few other DeFi protocols like Aave to catch up to Uniswap in the medium to long term. Now, another protocol that is burning a ton of Ethereum is called Axie Infinity. And Axie Infinity is essentially a video game that's built on the Ethereum network. And a lot of people love the video game. In fact, there's over 1 million daily active users on Axie Infinity. And this game also burns a ton of ETH. Of course, when these things are burning a lot of ETH and a lot of people are making transactions on them, this does cause a supply shock to the Ethereum network and it should make our asset more scarce over the long term. The next big supply shock that I want to discuss is the amount of Ethereum that is being staked. Right now, Ethereum is transferring from a proof-of-work consensus model to a proof-of-stake consensus model. As a result, this allows individuals to stake their Ethereum right now, and they can put their Ethereum in the ETH 2.0 deposit contract, and this will help them earn interest on their Ethereum over the long term. So far, 6.7 million ETH has actually been staked in the ETH 2.0 deposit contract. This is $22 billion worth of Ethereum, which is a huge amount of money being staked in the deposit contract. Now, the reason that this is a supply shock to the Ethereum network is essentially this Ethereum can only be taken out of staking once the merge actually goes through. So when you go off to stake your Ethereum, you need to wait for the merge. The merge is predicted to happen between February of 2022 and April of February of 2022. So the people putting in their ETH cannot withdraw it till then. Since all of this Ethereum has been taken off the market and been put into the ETH 2.0 deposit contract, this will mean that there should be a lot less selling pressure on the Ethereum network. This will make Ethereum more scarce in the short term for those who want to buy Ethereum, and overall this is very bullish for the price action of Ethereum, and this is a significant supply shock. 
The next thing that I also want to discuss is essentially this deposit contract is getting bigger and bigger every single day. More and more Ethereum is being staked by the day and I do expect this trend to continue even once the merge happens. So I expect a lot of Ethereum to be taken off market and a lot of people to be earning interest on their ETH which will be very good for the long term future of Ethereum. Now, the last thing that I quickly want to talk about is essentially there is a bit of an indicator that can tell us when crypto is about to boom. Now, this is the ETH change in exchange balances. So you can actually look at the amount of Ethereum that is held on exchanges and you can use this to determine if Ethereum's price will go up. Generally, when there is not much Ethereum on exchanges, this means everyone's pulled their Ethereum off an exchange and it means these people are holding their Ethereum in wallets and they probably won't sell that Ethereum. So, as you can see here, in mid-July there was a record low Ethereum amount on exchanges. This resulted in the price spiking significantly as this resulted in a supply shortage for Ethereum. There was a supply shock for Ethereum as a lot of people were just hodling their Ethereum in their own wallets and not trading it on exchanges. And as we can see, the Ethereum exchange volume has came back now since the price went up so much and I do expect to look at this indicator in the future to see if it is a good time to be buying Ethereum. This definitely is a very interesting indicator. Now, the last thing that I do want to take a look at is Ethereum's price. Of course, I do believe that Ethereum will definitely be able to get to $10,000 this market cycle, and I do believe Ethereum will continue to trend up over time. As we can see, Ethereum has just been on an upwards trend over time, and I expect it to continue doing this into the future. My hope with Ethereum is to never have to sell my Ethereum. All you need to do is hold on to your Ethereum, allow it to appreciate it into the future, and then stake your Ethereum and you can live off the staking rewards. I do think that will be able to be done with Ethereum and I am very bullish on where Ethereum is going to be going in the future. As we can see, this does look like a pretty sustainable rally right now. We're not increasing at the same pace that we did back in 2017. We are increasing a lot more sustainable and the ecosystem is a lot more built out. I don't expect Ethereum to have anywhere near as big of a crash as it did last time, as back in 2017 there wasn't much to do on Ethereum. However, in 2019 and 2020, a lot of decentralized finance applications were built on Ethereum and a lot of new centralized businesses started using smart contracts and even more of these businesses and applications are being built and used on Ethereum today. So I am more bullish than ever on Ethereum's future and I really do think it is going to be doing well. Anyway, that comes to the end of the video. Ethereum has a whole bunch of supply shocks going for it. It has EIP-1559 burning Ethereum, and it has the Ethereum 2.0 deposit contract. So all of these should come together and they should really help the economic value of the Ether asset. Anyway, thanks for watching the video.